The thing about being yourself is that nobody actually cares about you being yourself. It's a hard to swallow pill, but it's true. If we're lucky, there are some people in our lives who want to see our authentic selves flourish truly just because they care, but they're simply the minority. What people do care about is for you to convey a socially acceptable version of yourself, but if you can't, then you're left behind. If your real self isn't good enough, or if your real self is off-putting, all of a sudden you're a lost cause, because if this golden advice didn't work on you, then what will? And those are the inherent problems with being yourself, feeling like your real self isn't good enough, or feeling like your real self is off-putting, so let's dive into those. I've felt countless times like I'm not good enough. I remember times when I was younger when I would watch a movie or a TV show with a super cool, confident, and interesting protagonist. In the moments after the movie or show finished, I would think, man, it would be so cool if I was more like him than myself, and I would quite literally adopt character traits for everyday life from that protagonist to make myself seem more interesting. Has anyone watching ever done something like that before? And that's the thing. At the end of the day, it's about being interesting. It's easy for interesting people like artists and actors actors to tell us normal folk to be ourselves because they appear to be a beautifully painted canvas. If you're anything like me, at times it's been easy to feel like your canvas is void of any art at all. And here's the thing about adopting a protagonist's character traits though. It doesn't work. Every time I would try to be as cool, confident, and interesting as someone other than me, over time the facade would wear off because there is just not enough time throughout our daily lives to keep that mask up. If you think that your authentic self isn't good enough, maybe you just haven't taken the time to really uncover what that self is. What are the things that you're interested in, and how in-depth do you know those things? How many times have you gotten out of your comfort zone to really experience something new, and have you followed up on those experiences? There is so much depth to life and depth to you, but it's really easy to scratch the surface and call it a day. When you take the time to dive deep into interests and experiences, that's when you start to uncover what your canvas actually looks like. There have also been several times when I felt being myself just seemed off-putting to those around me. One time, I was invited to a party by one of my good friends, and we can call him Matthew. Matthew also invited some of his friends, who I don't necessarily get along with as well. About halfway through, I went to the bathroom. You know how sometimes you have to lean over the sink to wash your hands, but the edge of the counter is wet, so all of a sudden you have this wet spot near your crotch on your khakis? Please tell me I'm not the only one. I went back over to where everyone was sitting, and Matthew was not present. Right away, Matthew's friends pointed out the wet marks on my pants and asked what happened, to which I replied, Oh yeah, I guess I pissed myself. When I tell you that I've never had a joke fall this flat, I mean that with utmost sincerity. Not only did these guys not laugh, they turned their heads away and just kind of forgot about my existence. And it's ridiculous because what I said was objectively very funny. If you think that your authentic self is off-putting, maybe you're just surrounded by people who you don't mesh with. Look, the people in my life that I love the most would have found that piss joke funny. Sometimes you just need to change the scenery. With that being said, I recognize that saying just change who you're spending time with is easier said than done. Sometimes it can be simple, but if you feel trapped at home, at school, or at work, then it can feel anywhere from daunting to impossible to make that change. But focusing on the parts of your life in which it is possible to make that change and jumping on those opportunities can make a huge difference. It doesn't have to be an enormous life change. Sometimes one shakeup to a small section of your life can tip the scales for you to see yourself in the right light. Now, if you've heard all of that and are thinking, Tanyan, you don't get it. I'm off putting to everyone everywhere. To that I say, no. -uh. I've known countless people that have felt ostracized by their interests, their sense of humor, their social skills, etc. I've been there before myself, but there is always a community to be found. There's one available right now, actually. And sometimes you have to be willing to wait, and sometimes you have to be willing to look hard for it. As long as you aren't being a jerk and your interests aren't evil or violent or something, then I feel like you're in a good spot. So it's true. Really being yourself can become a problem when you aren't doing it correctly. But hey, once you start doing things the way that I described, everything will be smooth sailing, right? Of course not. But something else does start to happen. Okay, it's time to reveal the real point of this whole video. The people who benefit the most from you figuring out who you really are isn't a group of people at all. It's just you. It was never about succeeding in conveying an acceptable version of yourself to the masses. At the end of the day, you may still have days in which you don't feel good enough, and you may still have to deal with people in your life who have convinced you that your real self is off-putting. I still have those days. But knowing yourself, understanding, and really loving yourself, not just saying it, but really meaning it, what? that unlocks a side of life that just feels more worth living. If you give time to those interests and experiences, and if you focus on the people in your life that make you feel welcome, this is a byproduct of those efforts. In the mundane and the exciting, in the new and the old, all aspects of life just feel more vibrant and energizing. So be yourself, but at the end of the day, remember, you're doing it for yourself.